good morning. So just in time for us to get in the Halloween spirit, I thought it would be fun to uh, create some floating ghosts. Plus with this experiment, we'll showcase convection and density in action. So here's a list of what you need to get started. First, your everyday typical tea bags, scissors, markers, a lighter, safety goggles, adult supervision, and foil is even optional as well. So first and foremost, take your everyday tea bag and scissors and just cut the top, take the string off, and empty out all the tea. Make sure both sides are empty so you get a cylinder of uh, the little ghost that you see sitting here. You can take your markers, decorate a ghost face on it, and then this is when you need a mom or dad. Now I've set our ghost out on foil. I found this helps a little bit better for them to uh, take off here. But you want to put your safety goggles on and you need your parents to use the lighter. So adult supervision here because uh, your parents want to light these on top and then we'll see what happens and then we'll explain why what's happening. So fingers crossed this works. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but hey, that's science for you. So we'll see. Let's hope we don't set off a fire, fire alarm here. Oh, there goes one, there goes two. I don't want it to burn anything. There goes three. So there we go. So some floating ghosts for you. So pretty cool. And uh, this kind of works the same concept as an air balloon or a rocket. Heat rises, right? Well, that fire, that heats up the air inside the cylinder. And then that air, it expands. And it causes it to become lighter than air, than the air around it. And it lifts off. So we're showing convection when that heat, that fire is heating up the air inside that cylinder and then that heat is forcing the density to change. So there you have it. Some floating ghosts, some fire for you. Pretty cool on this Monday morning.